Hey everybody, this is Donna Spring Chicken. Yes, I love you well. This is how the text is supposed to be worn. Okay, I suppose you were conservative. You wore men's pantsuits with it, but I don't know about you, but oh, it would help if I could stand right anyway. Men's tux. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, the Republican basically Here's the trick is, the entire Republican establishment is going to support the, you know, support Obama's attack on Syria when the entire Republican voter base says don't do it. And basically, uh, I, I heard this morning one of the guys say, if you're simple, he said if the President of the United States bent over and said kiss my ass, Boehner and the Republican leadership would be there to do it. And even though the public, I mean, he, he, he said, these guys all think they're going to get reelected. When you tell the voters, go to hell, they don't tend to reelect you, folks. They, I mean, I don't, they, they got, well, we're entitled because we're here and we're going to, you know, we've got these big war chests. Well, it, it doesn't make any difference. If you can outspend the other guy a thousand to one, if the public doesn't want you in that office, you get kicked out. And Republicans to save Obama presidency, and once again get nothing in return. Well, this morning he went and said it doesn't make any difference whether I have your support or not, and he already got these morons to commit. I can do it by presidential authority alone. Uh, he said I can. What was he said specifically? The guy who in trouble. I can. Do, if you, I can just go around you uh -huh. uh, anytime I want, which basically caused the Secretary of State, who used to be a senator trying to explain he didn't mean it as it was sounded, it was taken out of context. Yeah, he did. He meant it exactly what he, because he does it every time. Like this morning, well, we've been had again by this president. Yeah. They already committed publicly to supporting what he's doing, and then he basically says, I'll do whatever I want to do. Which means if they give him a 90-day thing, he, you're looking, his last short thing lasted six months. You know, it, it's like... You feel like knocking them on the head. They're not learning. They don't. They never learn anything. That's why the Republicans have lost. Okay, they lost two elections because one, they couldn't get it through their head that the public is never going to elect a man in his late middle sixties upward anymore. So they followed putting a man in his middle sixties upwards with another man in his middle sixties upwards, and once again got beat in an election they couldn't lose, all because they had this idea. Well, he can outraise Obama, and he's a better fundraiser. Well, they're not going to put a person that is a senior citizen in office. Which, why well, Hillary's not going to win because somebody younger than her will take. You know, but, but here's this: Republicans only have to put out somebody from a Chicago graveyard to run in the election, and they'll win the election the next time. But they won't. They'll put somebody to the public. The Republicans hate. And the trial of Muslim Brotherhood leaders. Political says lawyers. Yeah, because it's funny, as Herbie Daddy says, they weren't supposed to be allowed to run to begin with, which meant the election never should have taken place. But you know why it took place? The President of the United States threw his support behind the Muslim Brotherhood to keep him in power. Oh, who is it that basically be heavily involved in Syria? The Muslim Brotherhood. Who is it the President of the United States wants to supply equipment to? The Muslim Brotherhood. Who is it the President wants to run the country? The Muslim Brotherhood. Is there any anything you know consistent across the whole deal. I mean I heard yesterday um, one of the, one of the, one of the re, uh, reporters really got pissed off with some of the conservative Republicans. Well we have to do this even if it doesn't work out for the honor of our country. In other words you put people in that want to kill Americans into office because it's for the honor of the country. No that it doesn't he, he basically was really unhappy about that. That's the best. We we gotta do it for the honor of the country. That's, that comes, you know, your family and all that stuff comes before country folks. And as feds acquiesce on marijuana, might the South legalize? Never in a million years, because there is this thing in the South, it's called, if you don't like the law, change the law, don't break the law, you know, and, and that's the way it works, is that Obama's just not, okay, they went and re things. If you are selling marijuana, you're going to be arrested. If you're using marijuana, you won't be arrested. Because somebody pointed out the fact the majority of the people that are getting arrested are the ones using it, not the people that are selling it. Because the people that are selling it are connected. But if, the, and then, oh, they also said too, that um, all of these things about the great amount of money that they're bringing in on taxes, that's hypothetical. That if the people paid the taxes they're supposed to be paying, you'd be making lots of money. 
And who started the fire in Yosemite? Oh, it was by uh, people growing marijuana in a state where marijuana is legal now. Mm -hmm. Why were they doing it illegally? Because of the taxes that people are not going to pay on the government sponsored marijuana. <laughs> they did, all they have done is they made the situation worse because once again you're going to go back to the days when people are growing marijuana in the basements of their houses to undersell what the government is doing. Mm -hmm. Guess who's going to go to jail? The very same people that are being were being jailed before are going back to jail because at this time for the more serious offense of selling this stuff instead of using it. And the U.S. recognizes same-sex couples for tax purposes. Uh, uh, okay, basically the Obama administration figures this is a good way to get money. Unfortunately, the problem is, is if you're under the Obama administration and the Democrats, if they're not married, they don't pay as much taxes. So it therefore it does not behoove you to get married under a Democrat because your tax rate goes up. Tax rates are supposed to go down. No, it is called the marriage penalty in our country. It's a marriage tax. And gay people are starting to find out it and they're starting to dump their spouses and still live with them so that they don't get hit by the marriage penalty. Well, they kept thinking that they were getting other stuff. They didn't realize they'd pay more on taxes. Uh -huh. The but taxes negate anything benefits you get. <laughs> oh, and Maduro blames Venezuelan opposition for blackouts. Uh, okay. In Venezuela, the government controls all the media. They control the power. They control everything. So therefore, any blackouts that are being done are being done by the government, not by any opposition who they basically tend to put up against the wall to shoot. Mm -hmm. And can UN scientists revive a drive against climate change? No, because the problem is is that the weather's getting colder, not warmer. And uh, we're in, we're, here's the trick is, we're at the end of the last ice age, folks. And that what happens is the weather warms up and then it starts to cool back down again. But the Democrats can't understand that. Uh, uh, you have to understand, these morons want to, they're, they're wanting to punish people on the Obama administration that don't agree with them on climate change. That's another one of the IRS targets. If you're against climate change, uh, basically they target you now for IRS things because, I mean, they're really a weapon of mass destruction. You've got their books. And expected frontrunners bow out of San Diego mayor's race. Because none of the Democrats want to get involved. Because it's been one bad, okay, the city is broke. Every time they bring Democrats in to run the city, it gets busted. The Republicans build it up, the Democrats then destroy it. They're, 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 basically, San Diego is going to have to declare bankruptcy in order to get out of the problem they've done to it. Mm. And prosecutors recommend Auschwitz guarded charges. The guy's 96 years old. This is ridiculous. She's he's 96 got, years old. He's 96 years old, doesn't know what world he's in, but they, you know, you don't try it. Once it gets to a pertinent, okay, just like Italy has got a law that if you're over a certain age, they may try and find you guilty, but you don't go to prison because there's no it, point in it's, it. It's, yeah. But the Germans basically, uh, the Germans and the Jews will try a person that, uh, here, and, okay, here's the thing I was watching the other day in a movie which Kirk Douglas was in. They executed a dead person because he, he, he had been found guilty, so they propped him They executed person. a dead person? Yeah, they, they propped him up against a pole and had a military execution of a dead person because he'd been found guilty, and he needed to be punished. Where was this? Yeah. It's called a passive glory. That's ridiculous. But that's how it's done, folks. An outrage in India over the first Delhi gang rape sentence. Oh, yeah, because they gave the guy a suspended sentence. What the woman is dead. He died from the injuries, which meant it was, pre it was premedicated murder. But they give the guy a suspended sentence because, as one of the judges said, well, it was only a woman. Oh. Yeah. They don't, and women basically are second class or third class in India. And wind turbines don't lower property values. Unfortunately, we've been to all the wind, we've been to many wind conferences and they do lower property values. Nobody wants to buy a home near a big thing all night long. I mean, all day, and it was a windy area all night. All night, and it basically, we're talking these towers have got arms that are 100 Well, long. they only put wind turbines in areas where there's wind and there's lots of open space. Yeah, and if you have a house near it, you're going to hear it. They drive your property values down, which is why no one wants to buy a home near an airport and why they try to shut the airports down. 
Anamonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, here we go. He said it's a very obvious piece of information that Republicans have never learned yet. That you're elected to serve your state and your district. You're not elected to serve the other people's states and the other people's districts. 